Good morning, kids. It's your friendly YouTuber, Kim Kimberly Wood. We're going to do two things today. Um, as you can tell, I'm makeup free. Ah! Um, and then we're going to do our daily tarot. But first, we're going to talk about rejuvenation.co. Um, in their amazing pro her amazing products, you need to go check out her website, rejuvenation.co. This right here in this cute little purple jar is Redo Me. You want to turn back the time for real and not just cover up. You need to go to rejuvenation.co. Check out our website. Check out all the other services she has besides her amazing products. And you need to get on it pretty quick because we can't keep the prices this low this long. We got some real she has some really great introductory offers going on. All right. Let me put some in my hands. Yeah, my neck looks better already, huh? It needs work. <laughs> right? Go back um, to my first video on rejuvenation.co and have a look at my hands. Look at them now. Forehead. You get close up. No makeup, kids. I know some of you 20 year olds do not look this good with makeup right now. <laughs> you need to go to rejuvenation.co. Check out Nancy Glass and all her wonderful services. I'm going to throw in a little bit of the filler. Can be used as a mask. There's a kit involved with this one. Um, it has like a, a toner that goes with it. You can put it on thick or you can put it on thin. Um, if you put it on really thick, you have to keep using the little toner or it'll peel off like a mask. But in the meantime, it retrains, retrains the muscles underneath to go back to where they were. It brings in the collagen. It does a lot of amazing things. Here, let me try to make it look funny. Mm. How about that? All right? Stop the video before I do the tarot and go look at me a second ago or a few seconds ago what it looked like. No makeup before I applied the product. Now look at me. Okay. Rejuvenation.co. There's lots of wonderful things. I'd like to give you more information, but... You'll just have to go check it out yourself for right now. There's still a lot of things in the works. All right, here we go. Daily Tarot. Um, I already did the preliminary stuff, so let me go ahead and pop it on out here. Oh, wow. We've got one, two, three, four reversals. And two major arcana. No. No, we don't. No major arcana. Okay. Well, anywho, here we go. Pretty weird. Number one spot is the works. Works meaning the things that's, you know, going to happen to you today. Things, you know, tasks, just general, what you need to accomplish today. And that numero uno spot is works. Again, king of pentacles reversed. Chilling like a villain. 
king of cash. Oh, look, you went right to it. A listless man sits impatiently on his throne. He is gazing into the distance and not paying any attention to his environment. He holds his staff loosely, as if he doesn't care if he wields it or not. You enjoy the finer things in life and are willing to work hard for them. Although you want the best, you don't expect it handed to you. Mm -hmm. At this point, you have worked hard and long. You've wielded your authority and talent wisely. You would like to set down responsibility, even if just for a while. And indulge yourself to the good things in life, to the good things that life has to offer. Yeah, <laughs> it'd be nice. Huh? All right, so here we go with the reversal. Be aware of becoming lazy or dependent on ma material possessions. Your love of luxury could overcome your practical nature and lead to debt. Although you may be d seduced by the good life, you'll find that it alone cannot satisfy you. That's a lesson I've learned over and over. Maybe you kids need to learn that more. <laughs> I don't know. Alright, number two is the home. Everything to do with the home. Home life. Home things. And that is right here. We have the page of swords straight up. Page of pentacles. I'm an idiot. Sorry. Page of Pentacles. Ugh. I'm not awake yet, kids. There we go. A young man holds a pentacle. He appears almost bored. Although not adept by any means, he does have enough experience to start playing with technique. He does not carefully hold the pentacle. Instead, he barely holds it. And mind you, this is home. Which is different than going out in your day. He does not carefully hold the pentacle, instead he barely holds it, as if to see how little he needs to touch it, yet still keep it in place. He is definitely ready for the next level. You have been practicing something and are, uh, and are already quite good at it. Your studies are beginning to manifest into actual completed projects. You already present your work to the outside world. Perhaps it's time to consider something more complicated and challenging. Is that at me? Be aware of becoming careless. Although you do have skill, you lack the experience that allows one to perform almost mindlessly. Also, be care of stagnation once you master this level. Continue to, to challenge yourself and don't become lazy. That's really in a reversal type situation, but for some reason I felt like mentioning it. The Page of Pentacles can also indicate a message, usually pertaining to a project you've completed, finances or resources. Hmm. I do work from home, among other things. How about you? But it could just be personal as well. That's for you to decide. Number three, the unexpected. Gotta have that, right? Nine of Swords reversed. And if you're thinking that can't be good, you're probably right. By the light of the crescent moon, a woman sits up in bed as if I awakened by a bad dream. An owl peers forward as nine swords float above her head. She crosses her arms across her chest as if to protect her heart. As evidenced by the swords, this woman is clearly troubled by some large problem, large enough to disturb her straight sleep. The owl, a symbol of wisdom, is nearby, apparently ready to share its knowledge and thereby impart some comfort to the woman. As she puzzles out the problem, perhaps she will see her, she will see her way clear to wisdom and truth for now though she is alone and closed off this is the hermit 
Major Arcana 9, taken to the sad extreme. Yeah, I've been getting out there more. Ah, uh, I just thought of something. Yeah, I need to impart some message to somebody today. That's what that's about. For sure. What about you? Um, as she puzzles out the problem, perhaps she will see her way cl clear to wisdom and truth. For now, though, she is alone and closed off. This is the Hermit Major Arcana 9 taken to the sad extreme. In this time of trial, she would do well to reach out and get the comfort and wisdom she needs. It seems that it is near at hand. Yeah, I'm on the way there. You are agonizing over something. For whatever reason, you're working through this alone. Oh, well, that's true, because I can't share my issue. <laughs> Nephew, get on it. I don't care if it's above your head or not. <laughs> Seriously. And thanks, Uncle. Love you, too. Okay. For whatever reason, you're working through this alone. Mm -hmm. Even though help is nearby, reach out and allow someone to guide and comfort you. Here's the reversal. Be aware of isolation. You may feel like you're alone, or your pride may stop you from reaching out. You are not alone, and your pride may cost you more than you know. Who can I reach out to? Well, yeah, someone can reach out to me, so there's that. At least that's useful. So anyway, number four is your roll. Three of, pen three of pentacles reversed. A master craftsman, alone with his forge, finds great pleasure in admiring his work. I have got to get on that. It's just weird because it's selfie, you know? But the hubby requires it. <sighs> Boy, I can see it. You know what I mean, Uncle? Anywho, it is more than simple pride, although that is part of it. He experiences the sensual pleasure of well-crafted work and acknowledges the hidden magic in the creation of physical items. Why do you think they call it spelling? Of all the threes, he is the closest to Major Arcana Three, the Empress. Like her, he creates and delights in the creation. He loves the process and the product. Hell yeah. You have a skill that gives you great satisfaction. It is something you love to do, and you find great pleasure in the end result. Be aware of losing. Oh, is this? Yeah, this is where it reverses. Be aware of losing the magical connection to the process and product. If you find something that used to delight you, this has come up before very recently. Um, if you find that something used to delight you has become rote, try to recapture early feelings. Or maybe pursue a new activity. Well, for me, I'm just too darn busy. And I can't just turn it on and off. I don't know about you. It's for you to decide. I'm just telling you what the cards say today. And last but not least, the outcome. Five of Swords reversed. Looks like that guy in Game of Thrones. Game of Thrones reversed. Five of Swords, actually. Alright. Let's hope it's not Game of Thrones. <laughs> it's never a good ending now. Alright. The outcome. Notice we get an awful lot of cups and swords lately. A warrior stands victorious, carrying five swords. The dawn breaks, revealing bat the battered remains of his opponents. 
The defeated figures in the background do not emphasize the warrior's glory. Instead, the, the image suggests a Pyrrhic vi victory. Although there is clearly a winner and a loser in this battle, it is not clear that the cost of winning is was worth it. I always said it's not about the competition, about helping each other and getting everyone ahead, but that's me. The Hierophant Major Arcana Five speaks of the lessons of human history, among other things. War or any sort of devastating battle has its cost. Whether such means of control are always worth the effort is unclear. I can think of like the last seven wars. But what does it mean for us? Whether such means of control are always worth the effort is unclear. It is a lesson we have not quite sorted out. You are at the end of a battle. God, I hope so. <laughs> yeah. Are you the winner or the loser? In either case, what was lost and what was won? Was it worth it? What have you learned from the experience? And here's the reversal. Be aware of seeing the battle as only or the easiest way to solve disputes. The costs are high on both sides. Perhaps a more conciliatory approach would serve everyone better in the long run. Huh. Five years. <laughs> Five years. Well, kids, I hope that was helpful for you. Go to rejuvenation.co. Get on there now while the prices are low. Just can't keep them that way forever. You will find that it is like nothing else you've ever tried. I hope today's daily tarot was helpful. Um, if it was, please comment. If it wasn't, please comment. Like, share, subscribe. And I'll see you tomorrow. Have a good day. Namaste.